Hey everybody, NC Prepper with you. Today I'm going to show you how to properly set up an Eno hammock. What I wanted to show you today was how I set my Eno hammock up. I've looked on YouTube quite a bit and I really don't see uh, a lot of good videos that kind of show you the proper setup of these uh, as far as just when you buy a brand new one uh, I think a lot of people end up with trees that are, are quite a bit too far and uh, what you really want them to do is to be uh, 10-12 feet apart something like that um, but ultimately when you set this up it should be in a in a pretty steep the straps should be in a pretty steep 45 degree angle so that the hammock itself lays flat as flat as you can lay it and it should sag quite a bit and there's no real uh, rule about how far it should be off the ground because this isn't like a hammock on a, on a metal stand where you have a predetermined height and you have the like if you've ever, if you've ever seen in the um, rope hammocks there's a piece of wood that kind of separates the one the left side from the right side to keep you from flipping over and to keep the hammock spread out all the time these types of hammocks are not designed to work that way and what you want to do when you lay in these is this this is the double wide hammock or the, the double nest is what uh, Eno calls it and you're gonna lay see if I can do this right you, you want to lay diagonal in the hammock as opposed to laying with the hammock because it causes you if you lay with the hammock your back is gonna look just like that it's gonna be uncomfortable throughout the night where if you put yourself diagonally in the hammock you're gonna sleep much better you'll beat your body will be flatter usually you'll put your head on this side and your feet will go all the way on the other side and you're just kind of laying there diagonally super comfortable the one thing I would recommend doing though uh, these are pretty thin you can you can actually almost see through this thing like you can almost see the trees through the hammock so you can feel the wind blowing when it does blow pretty you can see the wind catching up or picking this thing up i'd recommend putting a wool blanket down or a fleece blanket down something in in there um as this starts to, like it's october now um it's starting to get cooler the the days are so like the temperature right now i've got 72 but it's weird when you lay in this thing and I don't know if it, because you're compressing the fabric so much and then you're compressing your clothes you can literally feel the wind blowing through the hammock and it's kind of cold on your back so if you were to put some layer down and then lay on top of that in the hammock you'll be a lot warmer um, I tried camping this past weekend in this thing and about two o'clock in the morning I woke up freezing and uh, because I hadn't put that in so um yeah it's, these are pretty simple i mean i had this thing set up and once you find two trees that are the, about the right size of, or right distance apart and you can have your straps be at a steep 45 degree angle you'll sleep like a baby in this thing um it's just it's so comfortable there's no pressure points it's so it's just like sleeping on a cloud just about other than it's being cold. worth it if you can so, get one of these things yeah, I think the uh, the double nest is around sixty-five to sixty-nine dollars, where the single nest is like ten, fifteen dollars cheaper. You know, fifty-five to between fifty-five, sixty dollars, something like that. Um, now I use the Atlas straps. Uh, they also have something called. Find it. They have also have something called. Let me zoom in here. The slap straps. The, the Atlas straps are, I think, are five dollars more. They're twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, they both hold, can hold 
the same amount of weight. They're both rated at 200 pounds, and then the hammock is 200 pounds, so you get a total weight of 400 pounds on these. But you'll notice that with the Atlas straps, there are all these hook points that you can that allows you to really fine tune how you can set your hammock up. Where I think on the slap straps, there's not nearly as many of the uh, of these hooking points. Uh, the diameter on this is an inch, where the slap strap is uh, three quarters of an inch. Um, this here, this this extra thing looks kind of uh, the str the string here looks decorative, but I think it's actually actually an integral part of the strapping system itself. And you can even put it up onto V's in a tree. Um, it just there's a loop on one end, and you just basically tuck the strap through the loop. That loop right there, and you just tuck the strap in, and then it just whatever you need, the rest of it just hangs down. The uh, hammock goes into this bag, so it's, the bag is attached, but it also folds up into the bag. If you've never seen this before, you'll see there's a pocket on the back side of this where you uh, tuck the hammock into this bag, and it's, it's so it's self-contained. You won't ever lose the bag. And uh, it's, it's a neat place where you can put your your uh, phone, your wallet, your keys, whatever you had in your pocket during the night. You can put that into the bag as it, and let it hang there. And I actually hung. I had the uh, I was camping and I had the hammock a little bit higher because I was camping on a real steep hill, but the trees let me be level. That I took this and I actually tied my shoes together and I hung my shoes um, using that strap. Um, that's the compression strap to, to make this tight once you put the hammock into the bag. Um, and then the, the Atlas straps, they come with their own bag too. You just, you'll just roll these back up when you start. You just roll this back up when you're ready to put them up. Just flips over. And they'll roll up and they both fit into the bag. So, uh, the setting up of the hammock is pretty simple, but the uh, getting the angles right is your biggest thing because if you get the trees too far spread apart, then you can you can't lie diagonally, and the uh, the the hammock tends to close in on top of you like a burrito or a taco or something, and, and you really you can't see up, you can't see the sky. Um, you should be able to see the sky and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay in the hammock and I'll show you what it looks like when you're laying down in it and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about I'll be right back okay yeah so as you can see if you kind of lay diagonally across this you'll find that you can pretty much be real comfortable and I'm and you should see wide open sky. Yeah, the bad thing is it's like a, it swings quite a bit until you finally get stable in here. But laying in this is a real, it's so pleasant. You you just it's unlike anything else. You just put a couple of blankets in here and put your sleeping bag on top of you and and. Uh, You'll have a good night's sleep. All right, yeah, so I think I'm going to take a nap here for a little bit since it's such a beautiful day. Please, just like always, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the I'll subscribe button. to answer any questions that you may have. And just like always, I'll get back as soon as I can with another video, as quickly as I can. Thanks. Bye.